Hey guys, Mitchell here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and, uh, today's video, I'm just basically gonna be talking about some of the struggles that I, um, have been, like, dealing with for a really long time. Um, I was gonna mention, like, make a video about, you know, this, like, a long time ago, but I never really had the guts to, um, really do it, because, like, there are just, like, some things that I really wasn't sure if, you know, like, you know, like, if I would really be willing to actually kind of share with you guys, so, yeah. But mostly, like, um, so basically this is just what I'm going to be doing. I'm doing it today, and I am, I'm not looking back because I just, I really can't get this out of my head. Uh, it's like... Like, I'm not, like, depressed or anything, no. It's just, there are just some things that, um, I've been kind of, like, wanting to talk to you guys about, um, in regards to, like, why I haven't been making a whole lot of vlogs or any YouTube videos in, like, you know, like, more than once a week. And, um, some of the things that I kind of, you know, like, some of the things I actually kind of, like, do, like, want to share, like, with others, um, like, on the internet about, like, you know, like, in regards to, like, some of the things that I really enjoy, like, like, things that I really like, you know, um, that sort of thing, but I really, it's like, it's been really hard for me to, you know, kind of deal with this stuff because, um, because, like, if you guys have, like, watched, uh, saw my previous videos, you probably already know that I do mention this quite a bit, and by this I mean, um, the fact that I do have autism, which is a neurodevelopmental disorder, which basically is like, it's not like a mental illness, like schizophrenia, but it's like a, um, it's basically like affecting like how your brain, like, you know, like, development of, like, you know, like, your brain, um, kind of, like, before birth, so, yeah, so, like, there are, like, some people, um, that I've actually been, like, you know, like, wanting to talk to, like, on the internet who were, like, famous, but most of the time when I try talking to them, I have, like, usually, like, I wait for, like, a couple days hours or days for them to respond and they never really do it um and this is like one of my biggest pet peeves it's being impatient but um but like not everyone um like even though like many people who um have like some sort of disorder or mental illness or disease so forth um like, like, many people, like, who have, like, a certain, you know, disorder or something, like, will kind of, like, you know, like, feel like they just are completely different from everyone else around them. And I was, like, one of them, and, like, basically, like, many people, um, that, like, those people who have, like, a certain disorder, like, feel, you know, like, different from, are not all normal, if you know what I mean. Like, many people who have a certain disorder or a certain condition, uh, who feel different, um, from everyone else around them, like their friends, family, um, and so forth, that's basically not true. Um, they're just, like, kind of making them, you know, they're just kind of, it's like they're being a little more hard on themselves, so, like, basically, many people, like, everyone is, like, no, nobody's perfect, so, yeah. Yeah, basically, what I'm, like, trying to say is that, like, people who have a certain condition, um, or disability, or mental illness, um, basically, like, wish that, you know, like, they could be normal, but in reality, 
even those of us that don't have, like, you know, like, a mental illness or something, like, we all are not normal. Because, like, basically, there are, like, many people, like, around the world who, you know, like, who might, you know, like, have certain, um, who might grow up in a family where, um, you know, like, they've been abused by, like, their parents or some of their family members, or have been just, you know, like, been poor and, you know, like, that person has actually been bullied, and, um, you know, like, I wasn't really, like, one of those people that I listed, but, I mean, when I was little, um, I used to be, um, spanked with a wooden spoon, but that's not really abuse, because, like, my parents only did that whenever, like, I'd misbehave, you know, like, or just, like, scream and, like, you know, like, not settle down, but I think the reason why, um, reason why my parents said that was, like, like, one of my parents said it was, like, because they didn't, because, like, I don't really know anyone in my family who's, um, had autism, who's been affected by autism, because, uh, like, one out of every 100,000 or so people in the world have, um, like, autism. So, like, that's, like, about, like, 1% of the human population. 1% of people who, um, like, around the world who basically have some, f like, some ASD or autism spectrum disorder. Now, like, I do, like, in the GoAnime community, um, which basically involves, you know, like, which is kind of like, um, what I used to, you know, like, it's kind of like where my Go Anime, um, video creating kind of started, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, the grounding videos out of baby show characters, but I obviously, like, I was really, you know, like, late to that, and... <laughs> like, this is also another one of my biggest habits that I really wish I could tr control, and that's stuttering. Stuttering is basically, like, stammering. Like, when you, you know, like, you're, tr like, basically, it's like, in my head, it's like, I'm trying to say something, but it's like, I can't fully, like, get it out of my mouth. Like, like, I can't speak, you know, like, more clearly. And, you know, like, there'll be moments where I'm just, like, where I'll need to, like, take a pause and just think about what I'm going to say before I actually do say it. And, basically, this is why I haven't done a whole lot of gaming videos since, like, last summer, because I have been, I've, you know, like, my stuttering was, like, so bad that I was just like, you know what, I can't do it. And so that's why I haven't really been, like, making gaming videos on my gaming channel a whole lot. And, um, basically, like, with my autism, like, there are just, like, these things that I wish I could tell people about, like, that I kind of, like, want to share, like, with my friends, or just, like, on peop- like, with people that I, um, talk to or, like, follow on social media. But it's, like, it's kind of hard to really, you know, like, you know, actually, like, tell them, like, tell the person the story, if you get what I'm, if you get what I'm saying, um, because, like, obviously, like, autism affects how our brain, like, you know, like, develops before birth, and so, basically, this is why many people who, um, actually have autism may actually, you know, like, not speak, like, you know, like, this is basically, like, Many of us, um, who have autism will, like, go at our own pace. So, basically, like, um, our brain develops, you know, like, more, like, differently than those who are not autistic. And that's basically why many of us who are autistic kind of tend to, you know, go at our own pace, you know? So, there are some people with autism... Um, that can't speak 
like that like you know like until like they're like maybe like like a preteen or so or who can't speak at all but that doesn't mean that they can't communicate um and i think like and so like basically like the things that I, like, really wanted to, like, share with people, like, on the internet, or, like, with my friends, like, in real life, it's, like, not really easy, because there are, like, these, um, addictions that I kind of, like, there are these things that I'm kind of, like, obsessed with, but I, that's, like, I kind of really don't want to share. And so, um, like, I used to be obsessed with, um, researching about Detroit which is, um, basically the largest city in my state, um, and so, you know, like, there, you know, like, I remember, like, there was, you know, like, you know, like, that most, that there were, like, a lot of, you know, like, um, like, Gen General Motors, you know, kind of, you know, like, had some, this is, like, one of the things that I'm still, I still cannot control. Um, but, um, basically, like, the city of, like, Detroit, um, for those of you, like, if, like, if you guys, um, you guys probably remember, um, hearing or reading about this, um, you know, like, about the city of Detroit going bankrupt, like, back in, like, two, in, like, 2009, that's basically, like, when the population of the city started to decline, like, rapidly. Um, because, like, a lot of people, um, who worked in the, um, automobile companies were, uh, you know, they were laid off, you know. And because that, uh, many of the companies were, like, losing money, they just, they were just losing their, they couldn't make their, like, um, they didn't have, you know, a whole a lot of money, and so, that's kind of why, you know, like, many parts of Detroit kind of look, um, demolished, or just like, you know, kind of like a ghost town, but, um, and then, um, so, like, for those of you, um, like, I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up, this part, um, is, like, this next part that I'm going to be talking about is kind of, you know, like, really, like, traumatizing, so, um, like, it's not too traumatizing. It's not, like, really, like, so much, like, you know, like, showing you pictures. I'm just going to be sharing it with you guys, so, um, and basically what I'm going to be talking about is basically what caused me to have, um, anxiety attacks, and that's another reason why I haven't been vlogging a lot, because I've been having anxiety attacks, um, cause like, um, many people, like, people who are autistic are at a ri like, are usually, like, at a higher risk of, you know, like, having anxiety or depression, um, later on in life, so, yeah. So, basically, um, last July, um, I remember we were going to, um, a dollar store, um, with my sister's friend and... Um, two of my sisters, and I remember there was a song, um, playing, like, on the radio, like, on the way there, that was basically, that, like, my friend, or, or like, that my sister's friend, um, you know, like, said that was basically, like, referring to, um, a school shooting, and basically, later, like, a couple days later, I kind of, like, Actually, no, like, on the way there, um, to the dollar store, I researched, like, I, tr like, I tried to research, like, what this, like, what the school shooting was, and then I realized that it was Columbine, which basically caused me to have anxiety. So, basically, yeah, I started, like, after I, you know, like, started researching about the Columbine shooting, um, which took place, um, on April 20th, 1999, and around 11.46, um, Mountain Time, and, like, in Columbine, or, yeah, like, um, 
like it was I can't remember the city, but it was it was basically um in a suburb of um Denver. Uh, oh yeah, it was Littleton. Um Littleton, Colorado. And there are these two boys who basically, you know, like um killed themselves and thirteen other people, including one teacher. And ever since then I've been like, oh my gosh. Like I haven't been able to get that out of my head. And because of that, I have been, you know, like, experiencing, like, anxiety attacks, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, that's how, and it's really hard, that's, like, one of my biggest struggles, trying to overcome my anxiety problems. Like, I don't have an anxiety disorder, but I do have anxiety attacks. I mean, I do see, um, a psychologist, but... It's like sometimes I just, but it's like sometimes I just wish I could actually, you know, like really share things that I'm like dying to get off my chest, you know. Cause like basically it's like I want to keep talking about the same, you, like the same thing over and over again, but even though basically nothing really good happens because I'm autistic and I really, well, okay, well I probably shouldn't say that, but. Mostly, like, another big struggle for me is, um, being lazy, and that's something that I really, that's, like, my biggest pet peeve right there. Like, I'm, I don't like being lazy, I hate being lazy, but it's, like, I can't control being lazy. I'm pretty sure most of you guys, um, feel the same way I do. Um, and so, like... And so, like, I try to, like, you know, but basically, I live, um, like, I don't live in, like, a suburb, because, like, basically, I live in, like, kind of, like, a rural area. So, because of that, like, I don't really, you know, like, there's not, like, a whole lot to do, um, here, so, that's kind of also, like, a, another, like, a factor as to why I'm obsessed with, um, you know, like, Watching YouTube videos and um, watching uh, and um, going on Twitter and all that stuff because you know it's just kind of like how life is for me. Um, so like when I was little, I used to um, you know like I used to be you know kind of like. Like, some, like, some of the things I remember from, like, when I was a kid were, like, kind of, like, they weren't, like, really, you know, like, bad, but it's just, like, some of the things that just kind of seem obviously, like, embarrassing, but, um, many people who, um, you know, like, many autistic children, um, basically had, like, you know, like, kind of, like, the same, you know, like, kind of problems that I had kind of been facing when I was little. Um, when I was little, I was, I had no brothers, so, yeah. And that's kind of, and basically because of that, um, like, and like, because I had three sister, like I, three older sisters, I was mostly obsessed, like, I would, like, like, whenever, um, I do things with them, like, I'd mostly just, like, like, if whenever I'd play with them, i you know, I'd be playing with Barbie dolls, I'd be playing with Polly Pockets, I'd be playing with, um, you know, uh, stuffed animals and all that stuff, but, and, like, all those, um, girly, like, those computer games, it's just, like, uh, it's, like, for me, it's, like, my biggest struggle is, like, trying to let some of the things go, you know, like, trying to not, you know, like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like how you have the feeling where it's just like, you want to, you know, um, like, you know, like, you have a decision to make, but you, you know, like, like, should I sell this, or should I not sell it, when you really, when someone says that you really should, 
um, even though, you know, like, you don't use it, or you don't play with it, you know, but it's like something, you know, like, it may be a souvenir, or something that just kind of makes you feel nostalgic. And one of the things that I have a hard time, you know, like, and one of the things, uh, and like, one example would be old computer softwares, like Windows 95, 98, and, um, let's see here. Oh, and, um, some old computer games. Because when I was little, I loved Clifford. I used to watch the show. I had, um, I had, like, a Clifford pillow. Actually, it's on my bunk, it's on bunk bed. <laughs> Um, and I used to have, like, a little backpack that I took to, um, that I used to take to, um, preschool with me. And so, but, like, however, there are some things that kind of make us seem, like, unique in a way. So, you know, like, when I was little, I never went to preschool for a whole year. I only went for six weeks during the summer of 2006, which was... Um, basically, which would be, like, before, um, you know, like, started kindergarten. And I only went for, like, three days a week for every, like, for six weeks. Um, and I'd be there for, like, maybe three hours or so. I don't know. But, um, basically I went to Planet Kids, which is in Clarkston. Um, and so... Basically, I never, and, like, the reason why I never went to preschool for a whole year is because I, my mom, you know, like, noticed that I, like, saw that I already knew my colors, and that I knew my numbers, one, two, three, four, five, I mean, I know you can't really see it, but this is not my good hand, um, but, like, Kind of like as I started getting older, like I started to have like a little more kind of rough times and kind of more awkward times, don't get me wrong. Like first grade, which was like from 2008 or 2007 to 2008, like for me, I think that was kind of the most awkward and I just wish I could forget it. Um, so like, you know, many of us, you know, all you know, like kind of like, many of us, you know, like, kind of, sometimes, like, when we talk to a person online, um, or in real life, like, there'll be, like, you know, there probably will be, you know, a, like, a time, like, a moment where, you know, like, there's just, like, um, the person you're talking to, um, and that person doesn't really know, like, what you've been through, but it's, like, um, but it's like later they then understand and it's just like, you know, it's like they kind of feel bad for you. Um, kind of like, when I was, um, like, a couple months ago, there was this girl who rode my bus and a lot of people didn't really like her. And one day she was just sitting, um, at her assigned seat and I, to be honest, I felt really, um, I was like, I felt really empath. I was like so empathetic. I was just like, eh. but it was like, um, like I didn't like I like in my head I was like, oh, I want to talk to this person, but it's like, I kind of want to do kind of don't want to do that because, obviously, like many people who do have autism, you know, um, kind of have a hard time communicating. And I still cannot really get over that, you know, little habit. So, and another thing um, that I've actually been wanting to tell you guys is that there will be times, like, where I'm, like, making a video. And you might have already noticed this, because I think I, I already noticed it myself. Um, where, like, I'm just, where I just, like, you know, like, you know, like, get sidetracked, like, off-topic, you know, where I talk, where I transition from something to another, but it's like, 
you know, not always, you know, like a good transition, you know. It's like off task, you know. So that's my biggest thing, and that's kind of why, um, so, yeah, and that's basically all I have for you guys, so, um, I hope you understand, um, some of the things that I've been going through, um, it really, um, let me know in the comments, um, if you guys, um, have you have any certain problems or things that you kind of would like to share with me about like so that I know like are you autistic are you schizophrenic not an offensive way um do you have um cerebral palsy or like just let me know um I'm not don't be afraid I I mean just don't but um yeah um so in the meantime deuces